Hey, it's Teresa G coming in from her cluttered kitchen on a pretty drab, drab day here in New Jersey. And uh, it's my first Trader Joe's haul of 2023. I finally got to Trader Joe's. So I wanted to show you guys what I got. And of course, we stopped at Costco. So I'll just show you a couple of things we got there. But I immediately went for... Uh, about five or six of the new items now at my store i've noticed that when i get there on a tuesday or wednesday that's when they've restocked the new shelving and i'm able to find anywhere between three and six of the new items the ones that i want that i'm interested in that i've seen the ingredients and i know that they're clean or fairly clean and uh that they sound good so this is what i got okay now i got my usual i always get either this one or the seasonal one with brussels or not brussels sprouts uh with sweet potatoes and butternut squash in it the uh vegetable hash so then i got that I got my usual bag of sweet potatoes they still have one of the best prices in the markets they used to be a dollar 79 two dollars and 29 or whatever when everybody else was 259 and 279 now it's up to like this bag was three something the other size bag was four and change i was like boo no i mean after all i'm really just giving them to the dogs so i don't want to spend a fortune on them i spend enough on those dogs all right so um, occasionally I get the gluten-free English muffin for a treat, so I got those. And I restocked my onion salt I noticed the other day when I was cleaning the little rack on the sides of the island that it had expired and there wasn't much left to it. And I do like their onion salt occasionally on things, so I got a new drawer of that. I was looking for... The Zaytar blend, which came out, I think it was like the last year or the year before, but they were out of that, so, oh well. All right, then this has become a normal thing for me, the almond cashew and macadamia nut. Is it totally clean? No, but it's pretty good. I mean, really, it's just mainly some gums and sunflower lecithin. Natural flavor is down at the very bottom, which doesn't annoy me. It annoys me if it's the second ingredient, the third ingredient. That way, you know, it's all filler and not much of nothing else. But it's at the bottom. So, I like this either in my coffee or in my night drink with my Perfect Keto Beauty Plus Collagen. I am not sponsored by them, but that is one of my favorite products. And it has really, really helped my sleep. Something else on that at some point. Um, so anyway, I got two of these. All right. Now, I also got, I got this, I think the last time too, the color flower of many colors. I have noticed recently that I think it's green giant or bird's eye, one of them, one of the big corporations in the freezer section, they have a cauliflower that's made with the three colors of cauliflower. And it's about the same price as this. So, just saying. They have something similar at any normal supermarket. Just look for it. I, that. I bought a bigger brand of vegan mayonnaise the other day. Now, I bought it because it was vegan. I looked at the ingredients compared to Primal. But it was $2 cheaper than Primal. It's a company that I buy a lot of their other products, their avocado oil products, things like that, at Costco, at ShopRite, and other stores. So I bought it, even though I knew the first oil, the first ingredient was soybean oil. Well, I looked at the ingredients on the vegan mayonnaise spread and dressing from Trader Joe's, and it's exactly the same ingredients, except that the oil they use is avocado oil, and it's the first ingredient. So, just saying, might as well get it with avocado oil instead of soybean oil. Soybean oil is a cheap inflammatory oil. It's not good for your system, but this is. So, it's um, not exactly perfect either. I mean, it's got like some kind of gum, things like that to make it thicker. 
but it's better than the one at the supermarket. So I'm going to finish that jar. It's exactly the same size and it's exactly the same ingredients in exactly the same order, except for the oil. So I have a feeling they're all made in the same factory and the factory just puts on different labels and sends it to different stores. Just so you gotta watch these things. This is something I learned a while back that that's how they do generic things. It'll be the same ingredients, except it's generic label and it's $3 cheaper, same thing. So never be afraid of a generic label, by the way. Sometimes generic products are just as good, if not better than the main brand. And it's usually made in the same factory, just saying. All right, anyway, so I got a jar of that. So when I run out of the one that's in the refrigerator, I'll have a replacement. Okay. Then, finally, I have been looking for this all over the place. I know the Trader Joe's is the only place I've ever seen it. And I was so thankful to have a container of this in my pantry about a year or so ago when somebody was coming over who I haven't seen in a while. And I had some kind of dessert in there, but I wanted some whipped cream for it and I didn't have time to run. I didn't have time for anybody to run out and get me a thing of whipped cream, whipping cream. So I pulled it out and just whipped it up because that's all you do is whip it up. And it was fabulous. Nobody even knew the difference. All right. So if you can get your hands on these little aseptic packages, eight fluid ounces, whipping cream, cream at the ready when you need it. And it really is true. Fabulous product. So I got four of those. I heard about the bone broth. Now I usually make bone broth. I'll take the bones from the end of, you know, eating a, a, a rotisserie chicken. I'll add some carrots and some celery, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, some celery, whatever. And I'll make broth. It takes like 45 minutes to an act to two hours in the instant pot. And it's just as thick and gelatinous and delicious. But sometimes I don't have the time to do that. Sometimes I want just a little bit of bone broth to put over the dog food. So I decided to try this. We'll see how it goes. I've been told it's pretty good. All right. And then this was one of the new products I went to get. It's pizza sprinkle seasoning blend. And when I read, when I saw it online on YouTube, Instagram, whatever, I read the ingredients. And it was all clean, except, I mean, the only thing on it that even bothered me a little bit was rice concentrate. And I know that's there to keep it dry, to keep the seasoning dry inside. Instead of putting, instead of putting a few grains of rice in the bottom, they use like a powder made from rice. Now, I am avoiding rice and grains this month, but a quarter teaspoon. So even if it's a teaspoon of this, it's not much rice right because the rice is like the fourth or fifth ingredient tomato powder granulated garlic paprika sea salt rice concentrate so the fifth ingredient okay it has coriander black pepper it has some parsley it has some basil and it has oregano so no maltodextrin no, nothing. So I decided to try it. And when I came home, I sprinkled it on something. It's really, really, really good. I'm glad I bought two jars for myself and one as a gift for a friend. So, then I also saw online that they came out with Hearts of Palm rice. Now I bought a couple of other brands over the last few months. Thrive Market has their own brand of rice substitute that is made out of shirataki noodle. So it's clear. All you do is rinse it, microwave it for a few seconds and add it to things that have, you know, seasonings and whatever. And you have yourself a rice dish. Um, if you like the hearts of palm pasta, which I do, then you'll like the hearts of palm rice. I've also had the palmini rice, which I think I bought at Aldi the last time. And they haven't had it recently. Uh, so I stocked up on this. I got three boxes because I really liked it. And I get sick of cauliflower rice every once in a while, you know. 
So even though I buy a big box of it at Costco and I have it all the time, just, you know, because sometimes you come home from work, you want rice. You make rice aroni for your family or you make rice in the Instant Pot for your family, but you can't eat that. So I take a packet of that, I zip off the top, I put it in the microwave for 90 seconds. I add some onion and some peppers or some onion and some garlic and I stir it around a little bit. And I have a side dish, right? It takes me five minutes to put it with some meat or whatever. So I decided what the heck, I'll buy three boxes of this, it'll keep me for a while. All right, I got it for my husband, the Italian style wedding soup. For those who don't know what wedding soup is, it's basically chicken broth with little meatballs and little pastas, like the arancini. Excuse me. Somebody ate magic spoon this morning. Um, so anyway. All right, so I bought this. I was gonna just buy one of them, but then the clerk saw it and said, oh, that's really good. I said, yeah, I bought it for my husband because He's been on a kick with soup lately. Then he saw it and he went, why didn't you get two of them? I said, cause I didn't know if you were gonna like it or not. But I also know that it's a new item, so it may be sold out by the time we come back next week or the week after. He said, just get two of them. If I don't like it, you might like it. And I went, yeah, but I'm not eating wheat and I'm not eating rice right now and I'm not eating dairy, which is all I eat. You know. And he said, well, yeah, you know, I said, but it is, it doesn't expire until 2024. So at some point I may be eating those things and I can have a little of it. So we got two of them. All right. I also got the white miso paste because I thought I do make surprise. I make things all the time that are kind of Asian in flavor. And I thought that this would be a nice kind of umami kind of flavor to add, maybe add some richness add some kind of an extra flavor to things, make it taste more Asian. I don't know, we'll see. It has two grams of carbohydrate in a teaspoon, so you gotta be careful with this stuff. And it is pretty salty, right? It doesn't, it says sodium um, 77, no, 170, 170 milligrams. Let's see. Yes, 170 milligrams in a teaspoon. So it's, so you got about 600 milligrams of sodium in a tablespoon. If you're serving it for four or five people, it's fine. But if it's just the two people, I would keep it low if you're watching your sodium. I know my husband likes to watch his sodium. So I would add like a teaspoon of this to a sauce for the whole family. So we'll see how it goes. It's also supposed to be refrigerated once you open it. So I got that, and then the thing that I was the most excited about, I saw, I think it was Natasha Trader Joe's list. She showed this coffee and cocoa. And I said, hmm, I didn't get a chance to look at the ingredients when she showed it. So I said, all right, I'll go and I'll see if they have it and it's not high in sugar, I may just get it. All right, and it says, a four tablespoon serving makes a 12 ounce cup of coffee. And it says it's just ground 100% Arabica coffee, unsweetened cocoa powder and natural flavors. Yes, unfortunately the dreaded natural flavors. Is it Bobby approved? No. But is it Natasha approved? Yes it is. And is it me approved? Most likely. Because it's the last ingredient. Okay, I mean really, it can't be that bad. Now, it says use four tablespoons of coffee and cocoa blend for each 12 fluid ounces of cold water. Use two tablespoons for six ounces. They want you to make a cold coffee with it. That I don't understand. So I'm gonna try this out. I may even try it on camera next time because my husband wants to try this too. Um, I may do it instead of regular coffee tomorrow. It says, yes, you can cover your craving for co coffee and chocolate in one amazing cup. 
we've blended a medium dark roast of 100% Arabica beans from Brazil with unsweetened cocoa powder and the rich natural flavor of chocolate. The result is a smooth and mellow coffee with terrific body. The unsweetened cocoa subtly charms the coffee with its flavor, while the natural chocolate flavor rounds out this perfect choco-rific coffee treat. So I'll be letting you guys see me try it. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow after work. Well, we'll see <laughs> at some point. But if anybody has tried any of these new products, put your comment below. I'd really like to know what you know, what you like, and what you don't. Okay, and what you might find not to your taste. Everybody's tastes are different after all. Okay? Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm going to try that. I can't wait. All right, then when it comes to Costco, all right. I got the usual. I got eight. I got two dozen eggs, the organic ones, the brown ones. I think they were seven forty nine for two dozen. So that ain't bad. All right, that's two dozen. They were cage free. They didn't have any pasture raised. All they had were two kinds of cage free. One was organic. The other wasn't, and it was only a difference of a dollar for the same thing. So, I got the brown ones, the organic ones. I saw something, I'm not sure if it was Steve from Serious Keto, somebody took, no, maybe it was Joe, Two Crazy Ketos, I think that's who it was, who made like sun-dried tomatoes. Rachel has a thing for sun-dried tomatoes. He's not all that keen on them, but she loves them. And he took these Campari tomatoes and he put them in the, uh, in either the, freeze dryer or the dehydrator or something and he made her sun dried tomatoes so i am going to give it a try i can't believe it's six dollars and 49 cents for this Shoprite wants for a smaller thing of like six or eight tomatoes or whatever they want almost i think they did want like six dollars i was like that's insane i'll go to cost cut so for the same price i got twice the amount okay sometimes you really got to watch the prices um, so anyway, I'm going to try that and I'll let you know how it goes. If it goes well, I will show you how to do it. All right, so I got those. Now, we also got, of course, a rotisserie chicken. We always get a rotisserie chicken. I got stew meat for the dogs. I'm going to make the dogs their usual beef stew. And then, as I was walking through the, as I was walking through the aisle with the, uh, primal buffalo sauce and the ketchup and all that kind of stuff. Out of the corner of my eye, I thought I spotted the brand Fly By Gin. Now, anybody who loves Chili Crisp or anything like it knows Fly By Jing or Ying. I don't know how they pronounce it. Anyway, I have their Zoog sauce in a jar. I think I paid $13 at Whole Foods a year or so ago for that. It may be on one of my old Whole Food uh, hauls. If I can uh, find it, if I can find the video, I'll uh, link it below so you can see when I went to Whole Foods. Because <laughs> we all know Whole Foods is not exactly the cheapest place on the planet. These days, though, they're pretty equal with some places. So at least you're getting better quality stuff in general from them but anyway i saw this i couldn't believe it two jars of the sijuan chili crisp for 19.99 most stores want 13.99 or more for one jar of this two jars 19.99 so if you if your store has it grab it baby And the only other thing we really we went to toilet for um for facial tissues and again they were out of them just like the beginning of the pandemic they were out of facial tissues it's really getting on our nerves now what does Zeppel what is bothering Zeppel that is the question of the ages lately she's been barking up a storm after it gets dark either there are coyotes in the back or something, bears, something, because all she does is bark for hours on end. Um, anyway, so I think, I think that that's that.
I do think that that's that. I think that is the whole haul. Oh, yes, and of course, Steve's favorite croissants, which are still the same price as they have been for years now. Twelve of them for $5.99. You can't beat it. 59 cents a piece for a croissant. All right, and that's that. I hope you enjoyed my first 2023 Trader Joe's haul. Um, if you have tried any of these items, please put them in your comments. I would love to see them. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We have a lot of fun here in Reese's Cluttered Kitchen. And um, I've got some fun stuff planned for the future. So press that subscribe button, the little bell, so that you get notifications of every new video. This year we are going to try our very best to get more videos out as quickly as is possible. So um, keep watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day. Bye.